A Moment with Tyranny podcast. This episode in conversation is powered by Homes with Tyranny. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another episode with A Moment with Tyranny podcast. Today, we have some really, uh, a really good topic that we're going to talk about, and we have a special guest here. And um, our topic today is going to be how to handle fear when it enters your plans or life. And this could be, you know, it's going to be really it could be anything, anybody, anything. So we have our guest here and we're going to have her go ahead and introduce yourself. Good evening, everyone. My name is Janice Odom. I, I'm from the colony, Texas. Uh, it is a pleasure uh, to be a guest and to conversate on this platform today with Tyranny on A Moment with Tyranny. Thanks for having me. You are so welcome. Thank you for joining me. You know, I always say that, um, you know, without special people in my life, in my corner, support me, I couldn't do this. So I do appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to spend a moment with Tyranny just to, you know, talk about some stuff and help my, my podcast. So we're going to jump right in. And this is just open dialogue. We're just going to speak from our experiences, things maybe that we've uh, experienced. So when it comes to life and everything, you know, fear is a big thing and we all get faced with fear and it actually limits us a lot of times. So talk to me and tell me, you know, what's your comment or how can you, what can you share with the audience or give advice to our audience about how to handle fear uh, when it enters into our daily lives, our plans or things that we're trying to do. And, um, you know, this could be by people, friends, family, or even our own destructive thinking. So, you know, just kind of, Talk to us about that. Okay. Well, let's see. When 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 I read the topic being fear, that I that that was a little tough for me because I first of all, let me tell you, I went I went and I looked up Webster's dictionary of fear, and it said an emo, an emotional response to a perceived imminent danger or threat. And so I, I thought about it and I'm not going to say I don't have fear. There are things that bring anxiety or uncomfortable situations to me. There's not a lot that I really put in the category of fear because I know you, you've been in the workplace and I know you've seen the acronym fear standing for a false evidence that appears real, you know, because most times, I won't say most times, but a lot of times what is feared is not as harmful or bad as we would perceive it to be. Um, another reason, well, one of the bigger reasons that I, I, I struggle with it is because I, I know, I mean, and I don't want to get into the biblical, but, you know, I have I have a deep faith and I believe that my faith conquers any fear that comes upon me. I know that, <clears throat> you know, every day, every day is a new opportunity. You know, if yesterday was, you know, a not so good day, today has a probability of being a better day than yesterday. I think they're all good days. I do know that there are going to be days that, again, that are, you know, there are going to be some instances that come against me that I'm not comfortable with or that may put me in a position that, you know, I'm not comfortable with. So I guess I would fear it. But the way I ha would handle or the way I handle what you're, we're calling fear is, you know, I have to I do a, a self check. You know, what is it that's making me fearful of whatever this is? What is it? that you know what can I do about that you know I put a lot of the earnest back on me okay well if it's something that I cannot or I have not been able to make a difference in then I have to just embrace that you know that fear and realize that that's not something I can conquer I embrace it realize that that's what it is and move on 
Yeah. And, and, and you said, now you said one thing that's really important. You said that a lot of times that fear that we have, we're fearing something and it, we're putting more, more, more power into that fear than really is needed. You didn't word it that way, but it's kind of like new, what we're fearful, we're fearful of. It's really not necessary to be that afraid of, I guess is what I'm. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You're giving, yeah, you're giving more power to fear than you, you, you're, you're de- reducing your power over fear yeah. because you're giving fear more power over you or the situation or, you yeah. know, whatever it is. Yeah. And we really don't know what is going to happen on the other side of, right. you know, of right. that. So we, 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 in our minds, what we've done is we've probably went negative and went and, and started to thinking, okay, this mm-hmm. is what's going to happen. And that's not, maybe not even what's going yeah. to happen. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And, and that's what I say about being earnest about it, being honest about it. You know, what, what, you, you, you've overthought it, you know, really and truly. And, you know, we all are faced with task. You know, a lot of times it's just your reaction to the task. You've got to go through the task, you know. Yeah. You know, uh, again, you know, not every day is going to be a, you know, bright and sunny day, you know, you know, peaches and cream, but it's still a good day. And so the things that come up on you, you know, you, you, we should, I should say, you have to, you, we should, you know, be in control of ourselves. Yeah. 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 And, and, and you know what, and you, and the other thing you just said, overthinking, mm-hmm. that I find to be one of my challenges because, um, you know, and just being honest and candid, you know, I've had some struggles. I have struggles with, I've had struggles with, uh, self-esteem I've had struggles with second guessing myself things like that and Mm -hmm. that comes from overthinking you know I Mm -hmm. just overthink like Mm -hmm. what if or Mm -hmm. what if they don't or what if I mess up or what if in the truth matters once you jump out there just like this whole podcast podcast you know you're just like oh you have to have all this lined up and then someone's like no you don't you get Mm -hmm. out there and you be who you are but see that Mm -hmm. overthinking it's like a waterfall and it right. can kill a dream. It can kill things and make you not move because we're frozen in fear. And there, yes, exactly. And that's why, you know, I say it comes, a lot of it comes from within. You, you know, your, your, that inner strength, yeah. you know, it, it's that inner strength. And, and like you said, well, you overthink it and da, 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 da. You know, well, a lot of times you, what, what are you comparing it to? You know, well, you're out here on the outside looking in, you're thinking someone else may be doing this, or you know, or they're doing their podcast this way or whatever, you know, but if you don't take the initiative, take that step, get out there, you know, make that wrong move, but learn from that wrong move. Yeah. Let that wrong move make you stronger so that when you make your next move, you won't make that wrong move again you may make another wrong move but you you're learning along the way yeah yeah so yeah and 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 that is it a lot of people want to do things there's a lot of people that have big dreams and they really want to do it but they're so afraid to take that first step like you just said move if you mess Mm -hmm. up okay you learn from it take another step learn from it take another step and before you know it You've reached a point that you're like, oh, right. I was afraid right. to do it. And right. I was afraid to do this. Yeah. And, and look at me. <laughs> and look at me. Yeah. And, 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 you know, and people do that. Like, they're like, oh, I don't want to. Like, I have a, a friend that said that she wants to run, but she looks crazy running. You know, I'm like, you look crazy mm-hmm. running. But, you know, people in her mind, she thought she didn't look like a runner. I think about mm-hmm. you know, like I want to run, but you know, all this going to be jumping around and stuff. But you know, when you get out there and you start doing it, ain't nobody paying us no attention. <laughs> you know, So why am I afraid to do things? You know, and, um, and another thing is there's some people that w- wishes they had that courage to just go mm-hmm. and do stuff. So, mm-hmm. but it, it, again, it, 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 it comes from within a lot comes from within, yeah. you know, it, even, even if you have those, um, none. There, there, there are resources. You know, it 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 depends on how much you want to 
conquer whatever it is or to, again, I say a lot of times, some things you may not be able to conquer. You just have to embrace it. You know, that, okay, this is what it is and move on. But, but fear is not necessarily have to be a bad thing. It could be a motivator too. Yeah. You know, it depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I, I agree with you on that perception is everything, how you perceive mm -hmm. something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you said it earlier, you said, you know, you can perceive it as fear or you can perceive it as a challenge. And that's what you mm -hmm. just said. Take your fear and mo and let, use it as a motivator. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, exactly. And, and and we all, you know, I mean, again, like I said, we all have days that aren't as, as you know, as pleasant as other days. <clears throat> but yeah. we, you know, just have to face it, realize it. And a lot of time it's being true to yourself, too. You know, that's that's. That's I, I'm I'm big on that. Being true to yourself, you know. Have I done what I needed to do, you know, to to get to where I'm trying to get, or you know, or to overcome that failure, or you know, did I go back and I do my research and put myself in a better position to not uh, be afraid to take that leap? Yeah. Yeah. And you said, you said, be true to yourself. And I'm just going to kind of touch on that when it comes to fear. When you say being true to yourself, you're meaning like, um, if I know, if I know I can't go out there and do something, I, I don't know. Uh, if, if I know I can't go build a house, don't go out there and, and unrealistically put myself out there to be. Right. Oh, right. Oh. Right. Okay. If, if that's what I want to do, because I'm not going to say I can't build a house, but if that's what I want to do, that I need to do the due diligence to do it. I need to go study, land, learn woodwork or learn whatever it is that goes into building a house. Because if I really wanted to do it, I believe that I could do it. I just need to have myself prepared. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing is doing the background, doing the homework, getting the knowledge to make you to put you in a position to do that, to build that house. Yeah. yeah. Just because there, there, there's carpenters and there's plumbers. If I wanted to be a plumber, there's nothing in my mind that tells me that I can't be a plumber. Yeah. I just have to prepare myself. Yeah. Yeah. So... So, and that's being true to myself. That's being true to myself. Janice, are you in a position to be a plumber? Right. You know, are you, have, right. have you done, have you prepared yourself to be a plumber? Yeah. And then once you've prepared yourself, then act on it. Don't Then don't act on it. it. Yeah. Yes. Now I can be a plumber and, and I can boldly say I can be a plumber. Yeah. But I, you know, again, with, you got to be true to yourself. Don't get out there trying to be a plumber when you know you haven't been trained or you haven't talked, you know, you haven't learned, you haven't, you don't have the skills because I believe that just like the fear, yeah. if we don't have the answer, we can get the answer. Yeah. If we don't have the skill, we can get the skills. You just got to do what it is you need to do to put yourself in that position. Yeah. And then once you get that, once you get that information, don't stand there in fear. Go ahead and move towards building that right, house right. or opening exactly. that store, whatever it is. Exactly. And you, but your mindset should be, you know, if, if you're driven that way to 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 get the knowledge and the, you know, then then you should pretty much believe in yourself enough to go ahead and 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 catapult yourself forward. Take yeah. that next step. And again, because you 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 realize there are going to be areas that you fail. There are going to be some things that you fail, but you got you you have that mindset that okay, I learned my failures are not the end. My failures are just speed bumps to slow me down so that I can regroup and get back out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know the and one other thing about fear and what you're saying is that when you get out there and you start moving is that once you start moving that fear lessens and the next mm -hmm. time you do something you're less fearful and mm -hmm. each time you move and take those steps each time it becomes easier and easier, easier and easier yep. yeah exactly right exactly right yeah 
So that's awesome. So, <laughs> so, so share, let's just share something. So if you, if you, with the audience, if there's somebody that's out there that really is wanting to move or to do something, but they're at that point of where they're just frozen, they're, they have fear. I know you said that, you know, God, God is very important in everything we do in that faith, you know, that Mm -hmm. faith is 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 uh, uh not seeing the next stair right there was a quote something that says you know fear faith is making that next step without seeing the the full staircase but what kind of encouragement or or advice would you give to the audience on if they're faced with a, a fearful if they're faced with fear and they're stuck how to get past that mm -hmm. they're stuck i'd say Again, soul search. What what is it that you want to do? What is it that you're fearful of? There are resources. I, I, I don't want to give examples, but you know of what you may be fearful of. But if you if there is something that's hindering you, just know that there are other people. Other people face fears. Other people have anxieties. But if it's something that you want to do, you can do it. Yeah. So have confidence in yourself. Ask yourself. Right. I'm, ta I'm taking away from what you're saying is that it's have confidence. Be truthful. Be true to yourself. If you have fear, first the thing to do is stop and ask yourself, why? What, what am I fearful of? Right. What, and, and what am I? And again, a lot of what you're saying is that you know, self-acceptance, you know, are you looking for others to accept you or, you know, I don't want to say bandwagon, or, but, but, but the confidence is comes from you, you know, uh, you've got to believe in yourself. Yeah. Baby steps, you know, that's, that's the part about going back learning from what you did you know baby steps no you you don't go from one to one thousand you know you gotta go <laughs> in increments and so that's what the you know stepping back realizing what i didn't do correctly the first time making myself better that's that's all in making me a better person yeah. to get to where i want to go yeah again it's it's about me um Tyranny's dream is not Janice's dream. Right, right, right. Tyranny can be a mentor. I can gain things from Tyranny. I can gain things from Mary. I can gain things from John. Use that information yeah. to your benefit to make you better at whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Awesome. So the truth to the whole thing with it comes to fear. The first thing you said is that, you know, it's how we perceive it. The other thing mm -hmm. is that we're, we're, we don't fear something and we don't even know what the other side is. <laughs> so the truth to that is to get what you want. You just need to get past our fear. Exactly. And once we get past that fear, then we can be unstoppable. We just got to get Exactly. Back. Exactly. Yeah. And use your resources, use things and other people, talk through things, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. just talk. I know I talk to you a lot about certain things and, and you, and you, you're very grounded. So you, you'll sit up and go, uh, you're direct and you're grounded, which is very good for me personally, because I don't need sugar coating. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that sugar coating coating is a, a, a smoke screen, but mm -hmm. I, and like you said, be honest and with yourself, true to yourself. All of that is 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 a good thing. And and having someone that can help you be true to yourself and get mm -hmm. past that fear makes a big difference too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Dennis, thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. me with a moment with tyranny. Now everybody knows that I always end my podcast with a quote. I love this. And so my quote for today is by, actually, I really love this quote. It's by uh, George Adair. And what it, his quote is, everything you've wanted is sitting on the other side of fear. So, <laughs> one more time. Everything you've wanted is sitting on the other side of fear. 
So thank you so much, Janice, for joining a moment with Tierney. I truly appreciate you. Everybody, remember, if you're not following the podcast, go ahead and join me. Go to YouTube, subscribe, follow me, put your notification on. Uh, Every Friday, 12 noon, my podcast comes on. And I appreciate all the uh, support and everything that everyone's given me. So I love you. Thank you, Janice, so much. Thank you. you. Have a great day. All right. All right. You too. Bye-bye.